Civil Media. Точка Мака. Слободно, независно, отворено. What are you doing uh, right now? I, I can see you on your uh, website and also in the in the social media that you're quite active uh, in this uh, period after the, the start of the total invasion of uh, Russia against Ukraine. Uh, could you tell our audience about uh, what you're doing right now? At the moment, uh, it's naturally not possible to make our normal program as media dialogue to go to, uh, to the different countries uh, with our students uh, to bring them together as professional journalists and to, uh, to bring them uh, to discuss democratic values, to produce films and so on. At the moment, there is a war in Europe and there is an aggression of Russia. And uh, we, uh, we are working a lot uh, of using online technologies like we learned in Corona times, and that's uh, fine. What what we are doing, uh, we started um, uh, when the war started in February. We make uh, uh, interview Zoom based with our partners what they uh, what they were doing. One partner from. Uh, uh, Institute of Journalism from Kiev University. He was uh, in the um, Territorial Defense Forces for several days. Our other partner, Vladimir Daniluk, is in, is in Lutsk at the moment, defending his uh, country in the Territorial uh, Forces. Um, our other partner from the Institute of Journalism, uh, Katarina, made a lot of research, works about, um, uh, uh, yeah, organizing of war crimes uh, from the Russian side by uh, by planning uh, or making um, drawings how to build mass graves, really. Uh, we make some talks uh, too in, informed and try to bring it to uh, to our uh, audience, making contacts to journalists in, uh, in Western Europe, uh, in Germany, uh, to um, make reports from Ukraine when, uh, when the war uh, started. Then uh, our um, my co-organizer, Lena Kohlenberger, she's in New York at the moment. She made uh, personal stories uh, she, uh, also on, on Zoom. They are all on our YouTube channel where the uh, students which took part uh, last year at the Media Dialogue Project are telling about their situation uh, uh, in the war. We had several discussions uh, with uh, the um, journalist organizations um, also online inviting them to, to conferences taking part uh, uh, taking part online for example uh, I had uh, 10 days no, for two weeks ago uh, we had in Bonn a big discussion uh, about the situation of Belarus journalists in exile um, at the Gustav Stresemann Institute at, uh, at Bonn um, and we taped it with our public access uh, channel team to bring it to YouTube and to the screens of public access channels. Then uh, we try to make real, uh, real support for people, uh, helping them getting visas, uh, staying in Germany, uh, perhaps working on a uh, support them getting funded. I here at Ludwigshafen, I have also uh, for uh, two uh, two young ladies from jo from the journalist and uh, side uh, from Kiev, which are now can use uh, OKTV Ludwigshafen as a base for reporting. And so we try to support, to inform the audience and uh, to use our political uh, connections to help, uh, to help them uh, at the moment. For example, I hope uh, that uh, now we can make some connections. What is your assessment? What's, uh, what's next uh, for the Russian uh, aggression for, for Putin? Yeah, I think Putin failed with his big aim to destroy Ukraine uh, or the government of Ukraine and to take over the power uh, in uh, in Kiev with the uh, marionette uh, regime and the uh, Ukrainian army really made a great job also based on the support of European, but mostly from the uh, from the US side to throw them out and from the Kiev region to uh, to bring them to the border uh, at the uh, Sharkov uh, region. So uh, big success, military. Uh, 
in the last yeah, month. At the moment in the Donbas situation, we know it's, uh, it's absolutely critical in Donbas uh, because of a new strategy of uh, the, Russian, uh, the Russian forces on the one side and uh, that the Western weapon system, long range weapon systems are, are, are not, so at the moment they are not in Ukraine. They are delivered in the, in the, next, uh, in the next week and uh, the military forces of Ukraine seems, uh, and I think that is uh, really great. Uh, they seem also, really uh, brave uh, fighters for their country and uh, for independent uh, Ukraine. It's critical. Ukraine needs our support on, on the uh, information uh, front line, uh, on the military front line, and on the political uh, front line. And our task is to inform the audience and uh, to make pressure that uh, the question and the war from Russia uh, against Ukraine is also a war against us. Seems like uh, the Russians are losing the propaganda war as well. What do you think about this? I think uh, the most interesting thing is, uh, and this makes me also uh, being optimistic, how uh, the, the different pictures coming from uh, Moscow and from uh, Kiev. Uh, Zelensky is uh, really uh, is really working with social media with pictures. He know how uh, how to make uh, how to make pictures uh, as a, uh, for messages. How to to transport uh, how to transport the situation of Ukraine. His impression of the situation in a war you know, in this war situation to bring them out. Uh, yeah, to, to the whole world. And on the other side, putting on a long table or on a, on a wooden uh, table with some very old telephones uh, is for me also a sign that the, the old world and the really, uh, and the really not uh, um, negative old world is fighting against a new world rising, uh, rising up, whatever that means. Uh, we also see a nation building, I think, in Ukraine at the moment, uh, and a nation which is uh, uh, powerful and which want to become uh, a modern nation. Also, I hope we uh, fighting against Russia, fighting against corruption, fighting for democracy, and uh, fighting for uh, Europe and European values. And I think this is uh, this makes me optimistic, and uh, and I hope that the military side uh, will develop in a way that Ukraine can make a, a stable peace with Russia. This is a long distance uh, uh, task that, that we are not at the moment. Uh, and um, I think Ukraine must be uh, in a situation uh, to throw Russia uh, out of, uh, of the countries. We are living in the 20th century, in the 21st century, and uh, war is not uh, in Europe, can't be an instrument to change borders. Uh, we, we see that uh, there is a, a, a debate now uh, going on about uh, Ukraine. What a peace in Ukraine means is that uh, a, a, a peace that is brokered uh, with Ukraine ceding parts of uh, its territory uh, that it lost in 2014 invasion or uh, uh, Ukraine entirely free uh, uh, from uh, the time before 2014, uh, first uh, uh, phase of the invasion. What do you think should be the, the, the goal of the Ukrainian defense and politics right now? I think uh, the, the most important thing is, uh, first, it's a decision of Ukraine, how to handle the situation with Russia. But our task is to bring Ukraine in a position which make it possible to make uh, to have an acceptable result, whatever that whatever that means, and uh, uh, to show the Russians, uh, the Putin, to to show Putin Russia that uh, uh, neo-imperialistic or imperialistic wars 
and um, something in between Stalin and Hitler uh, uh, thinking has no place and no chance in uh, in Europe. I think this is the most uh, this is the most important thing, <coughs> however the result would be. And uh, it's clearly that, uh, in my view, uh, Ukraine needs uh, the Black Sea. Um, Ukraine uh, has a right to live in safe borders and, uh, the, and in the borders which are international uh, <coughs> accepted. Whatever the negotiation result will be, must be in the hands of, uh, of Ukraine. Yeah, right. Uh, of course, uh, well, there is another debate uh, going on uh, about the war crimes. Uh, President, the United States President uh, Biden called uh, this uh, 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 war, a uh, genocidal war, called uh, the Russians, uh, said that Russians are conducting uh, a genocide in Ukraine. Uh, this has stirred a debate whether uh, this should be called a genocide or not. Of course, the, uh, the final decision on this uh, uh, question should be uh, given by the international uh, courts of justice. Uh, but on the other hand, also the public opinion is uh, thrilled to give uh, their own part of the story, their own part of the opinion. What's your opinion? Is this a genocidal war? against Ukrainians uh, conducted by Putin and his regime. Uh, and the main point of the Russian aggression is to destroy Ukrainian identity. I think this is, uh, and to use this uh, whole Ukrainian land as a, as a known uh, resource, as a slave country. This is, uh, this is the, uh, I think this is the main uh, idea of Russia uh, when you saw yesterday in the, uh, in the news that uh, there were um, um, steel was stolen from Mariupol or transported from Mariupol uh, to, um, to Russia. When you see uh, what's going on with the corn that uh, Russia is, um, is stealing uh, the corn uh, from, from Ukraine, they think the ideological thinking is this is our land this is our resources we can do with ukraines with the people of ukraine with the resources of ukraines whatever we want to do uh, this is uh, uh, this is our our resource and if uh, if you say and this uh, abolishing uh, the, the, uh, this efforts to abolish ukrainian identity uh, is one in the focus of uh, of the six Russia Russia is doing bombing the cities down, uh, uh, and in this sense, I think this is a cultural uh, it's a real cultural uh, genocide uh, when you say it in uh, in this way to to uh, to use Ukraines like they uh, have been used by Stalin in the thirties uh, in the catastrophe of hunger uh, in the Holodomor. And uh, this is a continuation uh, <clears throat> of a long uh, history uh, where Ukrainian uh, culture, Ukrainian people uh, was under the uh, under Russian pressure, under Russian imperialistic pressure, even in Soviet times. And so this is this is a point uh, or, uh, of view we have uh, the fo to have the focus also the Western focus on Ukraine. And this is one of the most important reasons uh, to make our support uh, so necessary. So uh, you would agree with the, the statement that a part of the appalling war crimes that have been conducted from day one in Ukraine with the, the, the tremendous uh, uh, the number of cases of uh, really bloodthirsty uh, the behavior of the Russian soldiers on Ukrainian soil, the, 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 the rapes of uh, women and children, even babies. Uh, 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 would you say that this is premeditated and that this is a genocidal war conducted by, by uh, Putin in, in Ukraine? As I don't think that Putin wants to uh, to kill all Ukrainians, uh, but they, uh, but Putin wants uh, to show all Ukrainians who uh, who is uh, the master and who is a slave. Uh, this is uh, this is the point, and this was absolutely brutality and 
I think that's also very important uh, uh, the similarities to the Balkan Wars in the 19th in, uh, in former Yugoslavia, uh, which you know better than uh, which you know better than I, with the same instruments. Uh, also, Katarina Sokolova, I told. Uh, um, I mentioned her before from the university, make some interesting, very interesting research results about uh, comparable things uh, between the Balkan Wars uh, <clears throat> and uh, what the Serbs did and uh, uh, <clears throat> against uh, the others and what's now happening in Ukraine. I think that's very interesting to build this um, uh, to, to see the similarities between the uh, the two situ war situations. At the end, I would like to ask you about uh, your opinion on the response, the international response. Uh, you already mentioned uh, uh, the uh, very high intensity response by the United States, but uh, do you think that the European Union, maybe also your country, uh, Germany, are responding uh, 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 effectively, sufficiently, uh, and uh, uh, that this is uh, a good response, or uh, maybe should have been done. Uh, the, or this all should have been done in a better or a more appropriate, uh, uh, more um, more efficient way and faster. I think this is a complicated, <laughs> this is a complicated, <laughs> an easy question, but a more complicated answer because on the, you have to think about the different level. I think that the uh, economical sanctions against Russia are really rather strong and bring Russia uh, in a in a middle term in a very very uh, problematic, also international uh, situation, isolated uh, as a terror state. Uh, uh, in my view, political, economically. Uh, the, the other question uh, was I, uh, um, how to, whether the um, uh, politics uh, or the support or the uh, yeah, communication of support from Germany, I think there that uh, was not the best way. Uh, I don't understand why uh, uh, our chancellor did not want uh, went to uh, to Kiev until uh, until now. Um, I don't understand some things about the delivery of uh, of weapons. The discussions was uh, what's going on. Uh, there is uh, I don't. I also don't know whether it's uh, very very uh, effectful to make telephone calls uh, with Putin at the moment. Even uh, even when if Macron is uh, is uh, the third <laughs> the third in the line. Uh, so this is. Uh, I, I don't think uh, uh, that this is the situation in the moment. Maybe I am wrong, but I think at the moment Putin uh, needs no discussion. He needs really uh, military results, economical uh, results, and a very, very strong po uh, position also uh, against his propaganda machine to say absolutely no to this Putin-Russia system, economically, military, military uh, and um, propaganda uh, in, the, in the media way. I think hard answers for such aggression in, in Europe would be, is my opinion, and uh, you can have a look, uh, your, own, uh, your own view, uh, how uh, Germany uh, is acting and how some other countries in the European uh, Union are acting. Yes, certainly. Uh, the, well, uh, in the end, uh, after 100 days of war, do you think that the uh, European uh, citizens are, uh, as somebody, uh, some media are calling it, uh, in a state of fatigue, uh, war fatigue, uh, 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 and that uh, this is going uh, on hand of, of Putin's regime, that uh, he actually wants to exhaust the public opinion and also the the uh, the system, uh, the democratic countries, the democratic institutions in Europe, so he can go on with his bloodthirsty war. No, I don't think that there is uh, fatigue. Uh, 
in uh, in inverted commas in the in the Western countries, um, stopping the support of Ukraine. Uh, I think that the most people here, and this is also, uh, you see it in the refugee uh, situation, that the people in Hurjob are very very. Uh, Uh, friendly and supporting uh, refugees from uh, from Ukraine, and uh, this also shows how people are thinking about the war, uh, this aggression uh, against um, against a peaceful country. Uh, uh, and uh, so, I, I think that Europe is supporting Ukraine. I hope, hopefully, in a way which makes it uh, possible for Ukraine to make a peace. For uh, let's make the future of, uh, of Ukraine uh, secure and to give Ukraine a chance, really, uh, to become a part of yeah Western Europe di in the direction of uh, of the EU membership. Like the same things we also discussing at the Balkan now. But first the Balkan, then uh, uh, what EU means, North Macedonia and all the the promises. Um, and all the negotiations with the Balkan uh, countries to become members of the EU, and then uh, uh, parallel starting the process with Ukraine. And so I think people will support their governments when they uh, make a clear communication politics, when they make, uh, when they transport their decisions to the national audiences, why they do the things they do and why they don't uh, do things uh, They uh, were some people thinking they should do, but to explaining their politics, this is the main part. And then I hope, hopefully, uh, the support of of Ukraine will uh, will continue until we have a resolution in uh, in the sense of Ukraine. Right. Thank you very much for this uh, interview, and certainly we'll make sure to share. Uh, links uh, to uh, your work uh, with our our audience as well. And uh, well, uh, until the next time, uh, have a lot of success in your work, uh, Dr. Resman. Yeah, you too, and thank you very much, uh, Mr. Darela. Civil Media. Slobodno. Nezavisno. Otvoreno.